Don't worry, Kamawana. There's nothing to fear here. Fear? Are you scared about something, Medissa? You can tell me about it. I'll listen. It's just us here, and my lips are sealed. Everyone knows I'm good at keeping secrets. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll tell you. All right. Go on. Velvet and her friends left to go fight one last battle. It's a really important fight. For you, for me, and for everyone in the whole wide world. How important is it? More than I can even imagine. And right now, nobody knows how it'll go. Or what will happen afterward. That sounds scary. It is. That's why I was thinking of praying for you to be safe, sweetie. No matter what happens. But it just feels strange to do that. Strange? Why? Well... My god was someone who'd take away the feelings of those who prayed to him. <laughs> That's silly. Wouldn't he get lonely if he had nobody to pray to him? Yeah, I think he would. I think I understand. Something really big is about to happen and you're worried because you have no one to depend on. Don't worry, I'm right here with you, Medissa. And so are Dial, and Orthy, and Russ, and even the Rhino Stagros. So you're not alone. Kamawana. Or... Maybe a kid, a lizard, two dogs, and a beetle aren't much to depend on. No. I think I can count on all of you more than I can that god at this point. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Better than a god? I'm not sure I'd go that far. But if I'm ever in danger, I know my mom will come rescue me. I know she will, so don't worry about me. You're right. Your mother will protect you. I promise. Yep, I know it. Oh, Kamoana, Medissa. Surely there's some way we can save Kamoana and the others. I couldn't tell you. I just feel like I have to do something for Kamoana. Teacher, you managed to decipher what the ancient book had to say about Inominat's awakening, didn't you? Right after we escaped from Titania, yes. I'm just sorry it wasn't of much use to you. Oh, come on, Grim. I'd say it turned out all right. That's not for you to decide. You're not seriously blaming Grim for all that. No, I'm not. But I'd still like to know anything more specific about Inominat. Please, tell us what you've learned. All right. What Inominat needs to fully awaken isn't a large quantity of malevolence, but rather the quality of it, in eight types. Specifically, he needs despair, hatred, greed, conceit, lust, obsession, cowardice, and selfishness. If each was assigned to a single Therian, then Velvet would be hatred and Kamoana greed, right? Medissa would be conceit. Teresa is lust. And Orthrus... obsession? And cowardice for Griffin. That leaves the Rhino Stagros with selfishness. But Artorius was trying to steal despair from me. How does that fit in? Eight types of malevolence and only seven Therians. It definitely doesn't add up. Whatever the case, it seems obtaining this eighth malevolence is the final obstacle before Inominot's full awakening. I see. That would certainly explain Artorius's behavior. His plan was to foster profound hatred within Velvet, before plunging her into despair. And he used her brother to do it. If that's true, gathering all the Therians served a greater purpose. Right now, the Abbey has no means to collect despair. But with Teresa dead, shouldn't a new Therian have taken her place? Yeah, but after we killed her, the Abbey still went out of their way to try to capture me. That must mean they haven't been able to secure the new Therian. And even if they did, it wouldn't have despair. That's a good point. Artorius spent three long years trying to foster the despair within you. If that is indeed the specific type of malevolence Inominat needs, it must not be something one can find overnight. Right. We need to attack while there's still time. Indeed. Yet... Is something troubling you? Yes. It comes down to the very idea of quality where malevolence is concerned. 
When you talk about the relative quality of something, what you're really talking about is its purity. That would mean that Therians pick out and devour this pure malevolence. Yeah. But malevolence by its very nature is impure. Therefore, for some person or creature to become a Therian, they'd need to be responsive to a purity of impurity. Surely few could ever meet such a stringent criterion. So we don't need to worry so much? Oh, but I think I know someone who fits that description. Perhaps a certain succession of top exorcists who have tried to suppress and purify the spread of malevolence. You don't mean... It's just a concern. For now, at least. A merchant friend who works with the Abbey told me about this one weird Class Four island. Some exorcist went there, and when they came back, they were laid up in bed, having awful nightmares and saying strange things in their sleep. What sort of things? Stuff like the walls moving and attacking them. Fairies flying in front of them. All kinds of weird. Couldn't those just be demons they saw there? Hey, I ain't done. Towards the end, they were talking about not wanting to see people's backs, that they hated them. They hated backs? What could that mean? I don't know. That's what makes it so strange. Maybe they saw the back of some demon on the island, and they don't want to be reminded. Your guess is as good as mine. But if you do decide to go, you'd best watch your backs. If only I could just use my power to seal Enominot. Looks like you're raring to go, eh, Lafayette? Just don't be too eager to help, okay? You've got a bad habit of trying to play the good guy. Oh no, I'm not a good guy. I'm a selfish, wicked little boy. Oh, is that so? But if you acknowledge your own selfishness, then it's something you've chosen for yourself, right? Yeah. Then we have that in common. Now, all that's left is to follow your own creed. Only that. Besides, I'm a demon. Even if you were the worst of the worst, I'd be like, cool. Thanks, Aizen. Thanks, Rokuro. <sighs> Velvet. Don't give up on Lafayette just yet, okay? So, you were eavesdropping on us at the inn. Heavens! I never knew a Praetor to be so utterly shameless! Uh, all right, I was. But that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is... I know. No matter how selfish you are, life's empty without anyone to share it with. Correct. She's got a point. More than anything, I don't want to give up. Not on myself. Oh my god, no! It's up, sir! It's up, sir! 
sky. The snow. It's all red. So this is a scarlet night. Pretty strange, isn't it? It's amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not like I'm happy about it or anything. If you're worried about Luffy or Celica, you don't need to be. I was just wondering what makes the moon turn so red. They say the Crimson Moon is a gate to beyond, and is proof of humanity's sins. A sign of sin, huh? Maybe the moon drinks up the innocent blood spilled by the wicked. My, it would take a wicked mind indeed to come up with something like that! Please, don't say such frightening things! A scarlet night occurs whenever a full moon is in a certain position. The land and the moon pull at each other, and Earth Pulse energy spills into the sky, turning it red. Yes, and the amount of power is said to create enough mana to affect even an Empyrean. So that's why the ritual is done on a scarlet night. But the world of humanity is violent, and the Earth Pulse is stained with all the blood spilled throughout history. So Rokuro's theory might have hit a little closer to the truth than expected. <laughs> oh, a wild guess hits the mark. Don't get used to it. It sure does look grim, though. Yeah. We will need to be extremely wary. <laughs> Calm down. It's just steam. Really? Oh, I get it. Mount Killeros is melting the bottom of the glacier. Of course, of course. The heat and the cold are engaged in a feudal war. Just like someone I know. Why not worry about the path you're taking? The path I'm taking? Oh, hot! Wait, beneath this ice... Is boiling hot water. How can you be so calm right now? One false step and we're poached! Probably. If you don't slip, you won't die. For the Reaper, you're certainly optimistic. <laughs> Where's that famous apathy of yours today, Mogilu? <laughs> Who cares about apathy? Especially when I got friends as depraved as you! Oh, 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 oh,
Powerful earth pulse flowing inside it. It looks like we can reach the core from there. 